Good morning, good afternoon. I did a little something different just for a hobby. I went through a bunch of coins and I sent some to PCGS. I think there's like seven of them. But I did make a mistake, one mistake. Let me show you what I did. Over here, I put on, you know, did like an online submission, but I didn't read what it says here. It said the service level listed below requires a PDF submission form and are not currently available online submission center. So I have some that I think that's a mint error. And right here, you see, there's a mint error right there. And mechanical errors and all this other stuff. So I sent these papers off. I did an online submission step by step. And I made a mistake. So my going didn't get graded as good as I thought it was, but we're gonna unbox this. And they do unbox, you know, tape it up pretty good. And they cost me a good penny. You know, a good penny's a good penny. You know, a bad penny's a bad penny. But I think I'm gonna send some of these back. And yes, I, I started collecting. Started. Gee, they got this thing. No good tape up. But we're going to untape be on the wrong side. One of the days I get this thing straight. Uh, what else? Let me just get on with it. Oh, I got the black box. Uh, and I got me a submission agreement. So they sent me an updated form. But anyway, I sent these coins off. Let me put that over there. Ain't that pretty? Yeah. So I sent these coins off before I got my papers in. And of course, I didn't read online that I had to do a paper form. So anyway, we're going to unbox these and I'll go through them. See what we got. Get off me. And yes, I do know the grease. Ooh, da. So this is what I got. <coughs> I have got a... I ain't got my glasses on. They said that this one was a queen. I believe this is like 1941. And it, I don't think it's ever been cleaned. But they never graded it. But I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. If I can show you exactly what it's wrong with. Excuse me for the lighting. Nah, it ain't gonna focus. But it's a 1940 penny that has the D. Yeah, it ain't gonna do it. Should've got a true view. If I have them. Anyway. But they didn't grade that one. Let's go to the next one. This has got an AU 55. 
AU55. Let me see. Okay, it's a 1965 or 1969D. Let me see. 1969D. See what it's like. That's an AU55. I don't know how much that's worth. I'll just have to go to mine and see what it is. This will be a 2022. One that I sent off that looked pretty good. Why did they put that thing in backwards? Anyway, it's an MS-65 red. They need to put that in, in backwards. I believe that one's worth $10. Now we got a 1971 D MS-62 red. See how they put that one in the wrong. Indeed, they put that. Look at that. They put that one in backwards. Hmm. Oh well. Maybe I send them to reholder that one. So I got a 1971D, which come up to be a 62 red. I don't think it's worth anything. And I got a 1943 war penny. Now they said it's environmental damage. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but right there on the corner, I can pull it up on the on the thing. Let me see if I can pull it up on the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you look right here. Really hard to tell, but I got it blown up on the microscope. And it's a little spot. 1943 wheat penny. I knew they weren't gonna grade down, but I was just gonna see what they're gonna say about it. So there it is in a holder. So that's a 1943 wheat penny. Just a little bit of environmental damage. Rest of it looks pretty good. I had to do this video in daylight. Next one. I have got a 1947D. It says GY partially clean. We have details. That coin has not been cleaned. I hate to tell them that, but this was in a box. But it was in a box with a bunch of other wheat pennies. I don't think that thing's being clean. It is it's harshly clean. It's not being harshly clean. I mean, I got a whole box full of wheat pennies. Let me see. <clears throat> but I did. I mean, I live with all these. I mean, they all look the same, and they come out of that box. So that has it being clean. Uh, but if that's what they say it is, say it is. Alright, now I got a 2015, which was AU58. Now this one right here has a... You got to turn around backwards in this one too. Why do I want to do that for? But I think this one right here is the one that I think See if I can plug this thing in my computer right quick. So I took a photo of it. If you can see right here, this is on my computer. So that's some kind of mint error. I had no idea. And they I just sent it off a of green. I forgot. Plus it's double die. So I'm gonna have to get it still to Re-evaluate that one and send it in. It's like seventy dollars. But if you can see, the crack goes all the way through down to his head. Or he ain't got no brains. But anyway, that's my 
2015 and I graded it at a U58. So I think I'll resend that one back in. The one that they say that's being cleaned, I'm gonna probably end up throwing in the trash. They all don't have no gold on it. But some of these is in backwards. Good. Like this one. Put the back of it off, but this this is worth ten dollars. <clears throat> so for my first time I didn't do too bad. I just had to do a little better. That's all I got to show you, so big mistake, wasting money. But that's what part of life, wasting money. And I was saying do some bad. See, this one looks like the same thing as the one that was stated it was horse was clean. Oh, I mean, you can't really tell the difference. They said this one's hard to clean. This is an MS62 red. 1971D, 1947D. So, I don't know how they do it. Let me know what y'all think. Should I send the ones back so they can put them in the right way? I mean, I don't like like a bin backside on there. Same as this one. Put it on the backside. 1922 MSS. MS65 right there. That one's going to red But I didn't get no gold shield on none of them. I really don't know how to. That, that thing's been clean. That thing ain't been clean. That thing's dirty as boo boo. You know? There it is. They ain't a hold up. So I'm gonna send these two back so they can put them in the correct way. And then I'm gonna send that 2015 back. Anyway, it's in the back the wrong way. And plus. That's a mistake. Tip that one I'm getting sent back for mint error. And a 1940 penny. The D. It's a 1940. But if I can get in there, but I can't. But it's got the zero looks like a backwards D. They could have seen that. I mean they ain't. They must not be as smart as I thought they was for the price. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to leave it out. I'll send them back, the ones I need to get sent back, and then I'll go through some more and send some more with them. Take care.